guys, welcome back. Today I am doing my December BoxyCharm unboxing. A little bit late this month because I think this actually came last week, but my mail is all still going to my mom's house. But if you are unfamiliar, BoxyCharm is $21 a month plus $5 for shipping. If you're a Canadian like me, you get four to five full-size products every month and the minimum value is always $100. And one thing I should mention, because I do get a fair bit of questions about this, if you are ever watching a BoxyCharm unboxing and you are like, damn, that box looks so good and you are kicking yourself for not signing up, you always still have the opportunity to get this month's box even if you aren't subscribed. Basically you always have until the final day of the month at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I believe to sign up for that month's box but the boxes can sell out so if you see a really great unboxing and you really want that box make sure to sign up ASAP and my link to sign up will be down below as always in case you have missed my past few unboxings. BoxyCharm has been killing it lately so I have no doubts that this box is going to be amazing. Canada Post put the sticker on the front of the box though I was like why you gotta ruin my thumbnail Canada Post, but let's go ahead and open it up. Um, okay, so it's already looking amazing at first glance. I am already seeing Makeup Geek and Ofra right on the top of the box. So the first item in the box is the Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil. The packaging on this is so cute. And I think these are just their new liners that they released earlier in the year. Ooh, this looks pretty. It looks like it's a dark purple color. It's in the shade Royal and it is very hard to open. Is this sealed? No, it's not. Oh my gosh. I cannot get this lid off. Oh my god. I have this problem every month. <laughs> I got it. Alright, so it looks like the color of the tube does match the product quite well. It just looks like a deep, rich, royal purple. And it is kind of like a plasticky pencil, so you'll probably need a really good sharpener for this one. Let's swatch though. Ooh, that's very creamy. That really just like glides onto your skin. It's more of kind of like a smoked out, kind of like deep, burnt purple almost. Really pretty though, super creamy, like I said, and quite pigmented. It's a little bit kind of sheer around the edges, that's the one thing, but it looks really nice. Sorry if I keep shifting around. I'm not used to filming in this chair, and to be honest, I do not like it for filming, it's not comfortable. But the next item, like I was saying, is from Ofra and it looks to be a liquid lipstick, which if you have been watching my vlogs, you would have seen that I just finally ordered Ofra liquid lipsticks for the first time. I ordered five of them and I definitely love them. They are incredible, so I'm excited to try more. This is in the shade Napa Valley and it looks to be a very deep purple. It's got the same kind of vanilla -y scent that the other ones I have have got. And yes, it is a very intense, cool toned, deep purple. It's actually pretty dang similar to the liner. They're actually literally a perfect color match, but I love this shade. It kind of reminds me of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Vancouver, but a little bit more cool toned and deeper. The next thing in the box is actually super random. This looks like a voucher to the company HelloFresh, which is not makeup related at all. If you guys have never heard of them, they are like one of those meal services. So they send you like a box of like fresh food ingredients and like a recipe and everything for you to make. And there's actually a $40 coupon in this. Unfortunately, I have gotten a voucher for this in had bit fun in the past and they do not currently deliver to my province. In Canada I believe they're only still available in the greater Toronto area. I lied, I just checked their website and they ship to pretty much all the provinces now which is super exciting. I actually cannot wait to try their service. But I did get in contact with them when I got the last voucher and they said they will honor it when they eventually do start shipping here. And it looks like there are still three makeup items in the box so I'm guessing this is a bonus. The next item in the box appears to be a nail polish from Butter London and oh it's not quite purple. I was like this is like the same color as the liquid lipstick and the eyeliner but it's actually kind of like a really deep cranberry oxblood kind of color. BoxyCharm has Butter London nail polishes fairly frequently and they are really great quality expensive nail polishes and I do quite enjoy the brand. I've been dying to paint my nails and do like a fun festive Christmas kind of manicure this month but I have not had time so maybe I will use this. I really want to paint my nails before Christmas. Oh and I almost forgot to mention the shade name is Ruby Murray. The next item is something I've never heard of from a brand I've never heard of. It is BFR. I believe it says beauty for real but their logo is kind of hard to decipher it says it is the lip revival exfoliating and hydrating lip scrub ooh I'm liking the sounds of this. My lips have pretty much gone back to normal from finishing Accutane now, but now I just have to deal with regular Canadian winter lip dryness, so a lip scrub is always appreciated. Packaging is very simple. Oh, that smells so good. It honestly smells like a Christmas candle. It's kind of like warm and like cinnamony and clovey. I don't see like a name for the scent or anything on here, so I don't know if they make like different scents, but this one is like honestly perfect for Christmas. I'm just gonna see what the texture is like. Oh, it feels nice. It's very creamy and oily, but it's still got a good amount of grit to it. Mmm, that just smells so good. I wonder if it's a little bit plumping too because of the cinnamon. Definitely excited for that, and it's a really great size. And last but not least, it looks like we have got another eyeshadow palette. How many months has it been now that BoxyCharm has included an eyeshadow palette? I feel like it has to have been at least six. 
like since July or August, there's been an eyeshadow palette in every box, which is crazy. And I think I've actually gotten this palette in FabFitFun once again. I think this is like a dupe for the Naked palette. Yes, I believe this is the same palette. It is the Buff Collection from Pure Cosmetics. Not pure like P-U-R, but P-U-R-E. And it's just meant to be a dupe of the Naked 3 palette. It's in the same kind of like tin packaging. And the shade selection is obviously nearly identical. I already have the Naked 3 palette and I gave the last one of these to my mom. So I will either probably put this in a giveaway or donate it. I have kind of mixed feelings about these like knockoff palettes. They're not meant to be a fake by any means, but I feel like they're always... I don't know. I have mixed feelings about them basically. I know my mom has been loving the one I gave her though. Actually, now that I think about it, the one that I gave her is actually a dupe for Naked 2 because she's not really into these shades, so I feel like she probably wouldn't have taken it if I gave her this one, but... Yeah, I have seen these palettes in the past and my mom really likes the one she has. That was everything in December's box. I took a look at the card really quick and totaled everything up and the rough value seems to be about $110. So really great value as always. I honestly really like everything in this month's box. The lip scrub, the liner, the liquid lipstick, and the nail polish are all great. And honestly, this is a great product too. I just personally won't really use it because I already own the Naked 3 palette and they're very similar. But all in all, I think this is another killer box from BoxyCharm. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Once again, if you want to sign up, up and you still want to get this month's box, my link will be down below in the description bar. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and want to see more BoxyCharm unboxings in the future. Don't forget to go follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I am at Rihanna on all three. And hit that subscribe button down below if you are new here. But that is going to be it for today. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye guys.